the gas oil feed for the conventional catalytic cracker comes primarily from the atmospheric column, the vacuum tower, and the delayed cooker. The main purpose of the FCC unit is to convert high boiling petroleum fractions to high value transportation fuels such as gasoline, jet fuel, and diesel. FCC unit comprises four principal component systems as follows. Riser or reactor. Regenerator. Flue gas system. Main fractionator. This video summarizes the process and the function of each component. An important part of the refining process takes place in the facility's fluid catalytic cracker or FCC unit. In the FCC unit, Heavy hydrocarbons from crude oil are broken or cracked into smaller hydrocarbons, which can then be processed into gasoline and other fuel products. The heavy hydrocarbons are first fed into a reactor where they mix with the catalyst. The heavy liquid hydrocarbons are converted into lighter hydrocarbon vapors as they travel up the reactor. At the top of the reactor, the lighter hydrocarbon vapors are separated from the catalyst. The hydrocarbon vapors then flow to the main distillation column. The catalyst falls down the side of the reactor where it moves through a slide valve to a piece of equipment called the regenerator. During the reaction, a layer of carbon called coke forms on the catalyst that must be removed. Inside the regenerator, air is added and the coke on the catalyst is burned off. The catalyst is then fed back to the reactor through a slide valve, and the cycle is repeated. When the coke is burned off the catalyst, this creates products of combustion called flue gas. The flue gas flows out the regenerator and enters a system comprised of multiple pieces of equipment, which remove any remaining catalyst particles present. The regenerator and flue gas system comprise the air side of the FCC unit. The last piece of equipment in the flue gas system is called the electrostatic precipitator, or ESP. The ESP removes small catalyst particles using static electricity. While the ESP is energized, it creates sparks, which are sources of ignition.